Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mr. Sky series RTS on the part 22. So the last part was we were building our monastery, ca monastery or castle, how you want to call it, on the mountain. And today we are going ahead with our old town and building some more warehouses. The reason that I done this for this episode is at first I want to finish up all of these areas there, all of these places between our port, our industrial port and our old town. So I want to finally get all of them done and for this one I thought I would do it just like that, that I will place about two or three of these custom warehouses there and make some simple detailing there so that we can finally finish them off. So mainly in this episode, but we're just building more parts of the old town and getting also in some modern buildings. And my thoughts were this weird that maybe you want to have some like modern buildings in there because the people would just like kind of get to the idea would say where they would just like destroy all the ones and then place the new ones there. This is something that they are often doing in Austria and Vienna for an example and is isn't happening that often, but it's happening sometimes, and actually also we've done this very modern, just like, I would call it office area, and this is just like something that I have nearly copied from the Euro Plaza in Austria and Vienna, and this is something that I think is looking pretty cool, and I thought this would be something that I definitely want to have in our city. So. I thought this whole place would be much more crowded when I blazed the highway and that's also the reason why it's elevated but this isn't a struggle for me because then I'm just like can place some more warehouses beneath it and make it also look cool. And yes, actually I'm right now working on some cinematics and they will be in a whole cinematic part and they will be from all what we've built in 22 or 25 episodes. So. This will be released after episode 25, I think, and it will just like be just like what we have achieved in about half a year. It was already. Wait, let me have a look right there. I think it was about half a year, so this is quite a lot of time, I would say. At least for me, it is immense. It was. It actually wasn't that much, it was just like three. About four months right now, so this is pretty much quite a lot of time for me. I'm actually right now on my YouTube page, and my series before this one was going way better, I would say, from the views. But actually, I'm very happy with the series right now. It isn't just like this famous because it's a European series, I guess. But yes, maybe if you didn't know, my series before this one was an American styled city, Springfield, and this got about 400 to 200 views on every single video. Okay, there we go. So, many. so maybe it is actually pretty much the same from the views, I would say, but I'm way happier with just like building something European right now because I'm just feeling like this is something that I want to do right now and that I want to work on. Actually, this whole thing is this industrial area is kind of copied from Japan at some point, so. It isn't only European, it's something kind of a mix, but I felt like this wouldn't hurt for a city like this and it's all coming together pretty well. So just like when you are working on look, getting all of these transitions very smoothly, I think this shouldn't be a problem. So our city will have two different airports. This is something that I wanted to do for quite a while now and there will be a regional one and maybe also an international one. But Actually, the international one isn't sure yet, so this is something that I could build, but I'm not sure right now if I want to do it. So, I definitely want to do a small one. This also will, not, will be a non-functional, it will just like be for the look. And this will be in one of the valleys I thought. You may know this whole map has three valleys and one swamp, so also we will work on the swamp in the next time. It is right next to our old town and stuff like this, so it is just like also something that I want to build a bridge above it and stuff like this, so you will see a lot about the swamp in the soon future, I would say. So back to the video, I'm just like building my warehouses there and 
placing in some tracks and stuff like this because it is quite usual for for European cities to have something like this close to highways and you can actually see stuff like this when you're driving from Vienna on the A2 it is called A2 in English and this is this is a highway that is going wait let me think when you want to go from Vienna to I think to Graz you can use it this means you are driving in the south I think so if I'm not completely wrong it is a highway to the south and it's just like something where you can often see warehouses and so I thought yes we can add this and no one wants to live near um, highway anyway so I thought it is this, that this would be a perfect industrial place. This will also mean we will build a lot more of this industrial area soon but I kind of want to get ahead with the old town first because we also need some people that are working there and that are working for the warehouses so this is something that I definitely want to plan out, kind of plan out for the series. So today also the video is kind of slow. And I want to know what you're thinking about this, because I'm kind of struggling with the very much speeded up build. So I want to do them more like this one, more slowly and stuff like this, so that you can see better what I'm doing or how I'm just like achieving some of my looks and the style of my city. Because I'm always interested in other people building and I thought this would be something that would be better for you and also would be easier to watch with your eyes without getting just like your eyeballs to hurt because of two quick movement. So there I'm just placing already the second warehouses and this is something a city has a lot of warehouses so they have kind of different working how should you call this they are having kind of different purposes so it's just like some of them are even from the city itself or from the maintenance depot so that when there is a broken street or there is a hole in a street that I can fix it pretty click quickly it is also just like something kind of in storage for maybe something like some fences or stuff like this. So when you are on a concert, you have these like not iron fences, these metallic fences that they are portable and they are quite well used in Austria. So when you're going on something like the Staatsfeiertag, you will always see them there. And this is just like something that you have on a lot of big festivals I would say in a main thing so yes there this is the purpose why I'm using so many of them and these grass patches are awesome I love them they're just like, giving so many details to this whole area and they're just like one big prop and they are always giving me just like so many FPS more than what I would place every single grass at once so I have a lot of projects that I want to do in the city so there would definitely be more episodes and I can't get enough of the city right now. It is just like that I have to hold myself back to not pre-produce pre too much because I could get loose pretty quickly as in the last episode I had about 3 or 4 hours of just me building and I had to cut it out and this was pretty quick then and I didn't want this to happen again. So for this one I set myself the timer of 1 hour and then I can speed it up by 2 times and it is good to look at and it's about half an hour. The video is actually 30 minutes and about a half minute or 30 minutes or 30 seconds or something like this. So I think this length is actually okay. And this is something that I want to achieve that it is, well, that is easy to look my videos and not to get your eyes to hook. So then I'm back placing my old town. And for this one, I thought about, I want to just like square it in a bit from the outside so that I have a space that I will work with and that I will just kind of configure by piece. So I will make this every time that I'm building something, I will square it in at first and then I will take a look at how it will be turning out in the middle because it's just like something that they done sometimes in Austria just to get the cities to look like they're looking right now. So for the public transport of the city, we right now don't need it because we don't have so many people and it is actually that we don't have so many just like different spots where they could go so the city has to grow to so that we have a need of public transport and we will be having this need in some episodes I think when we're 
have advanced with our old town, we've built something like a small working area and stuff like this. Something that I really want to do are rest stations on the highways because they are pretty common in European on European highways. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. And on these European highways, you just like have a gas station right next to a restaurant, just like to get some time off there. So this is kind of a big thing, and there are a lot of them in Austria. So I think at least in Austria, it's about every five kilometers that you can find one, and this is. Something pretty nice, I would say, because it is pretty comfortable when you know there is a toilet about 10 minutes ago every time you're on a highway, so... This is something that I love when I'm driving somewhere, that you have them always around you. So, we're right now building them, building this city once again, more parts of it, and I'm trying to get the camera at one point and then hold it there and then just place the buildings. The reason for this is that it isn't that wiggly for you and that it's easy to watch. It isn't that hard for me to do it, but it is quite unchanged to what I've done before, but I think it should work out in the end. So right now we're in the old old town, so this means there are also some buildings that are about 100 to 200 years ago, and this will definitely change when we're doing something like more government housing called Gemeindebaus, Gemeindebauten, I'm sorry, and these Gemeindebauten, I would just think you could say German word, why not? are very cool in my opinion and you can just like, place them everywhere in your European city basically because they are nearly everywhere. So this actually recognized a lot of them when driving through Austria with the train and I'm always traveling from Vienna to my hometown when I'm going to school and it's about half an hour and you see a lot of different types of government building, government housing and stuff like this. So this was something that I wanted to add and we will build a lot more of them. So, for this kind of thing, they're just placing buildings. I have my specific buildings I'm using always because I think when you have the repetitive look, it looks more realistic for a city and not too many locks meshed up together in one city. So, here you can just like see me again placing more buildings, and this is what we will be doing for the rest of this video. So, this is the point where I will say bye and hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to me. It helps me a lot and if you even want to support me more I would appreciate it if you would like this video because it just like, shows me that you want to see more like the stuff that I'm doing in my videos and it just like, encourages me to do more and trying to get my talking better and my moderation and just basically get it more interesting for you. So yes. Thank you for watching and hopefully see another video. Have a great day. Bye.
Thank you. 